right, guys, here we go. We are in Lakeland, Florida at the USA International Speedway. It's a speedway that sadly is long gone, apparently, but it has been saved right here on iRacing. I am in the Asphalt Street Stocks. Really enjoy these cars. Haven't drove in much else uh, other than the dirt version, which is fun as well. And this is going to be a 40 lap race. Uh, there's no cautions. A bunch of rookies, myself included. This is only about the fourth race in. And this is the first one that set up to record in this fashion and this way. And we're going to take you through the 40 laps here and see how we do. Starting in the 10th position, that's where I qualified. Not a great qualifying effort. Definitely could have done better. Did not get into turn one and two as I would have liked. And it definitely cost some positions. Definitely think could have started, oh, fifth or so. The good thing is I tend to race better than I qualify. I seem to save my stuff and I'm able to make ground up later on, getting that rhythm where other guys, they might qualify well, but they don't really, they don't really race well. So let's see what happens. About to go green here. On the outside, which concerns me, but we'll find our way to the bottom, into fourth gear. Oh, we're already getting hit and in the wall. Don't know what happened there from the 16. We're still getting wrecked. Wow. That's a first. Uh, at least now there's space to, to drive. The car is all right. Just took some side damage. Only got a 4X out of all of that. Still don't quite understand everything about iRacing and the I rating and the safety rating, but try to go out here and actually race a race. Take care of the simulated racing property that I've got in this street stock. By the way, it is the Gearhead Coffee street stock, along with Hero Sub Company, Strutmasters.com, and Power Built Tools. If you're looking for a brand of coffee that fits you as the motorsport nut that you are, you def definitely need to check out Gearhead Coffee at gearheadcoffee.com. Use promo code MMR10 and you'll get 10% off great coffee. Well, let's get settled in here and try to make some ground up. Somehow I'm still in 10th place after that ruckus start. What I like to do, if you'll notice, I start off high going into the turn, lightly hit the brake, let it roll down and into the center, and then I pick back up with the throttle and come off. I tend to beat people coming off. Definitely don't beat them going in, but I think it's more important about coming off the corner than going in, especially here at Lakeland, it seems. Looks like I do have 11th place catching me a little bit. And I have found the transition of the car, I really like the feeling of the car later on in the run, not so much early in the run. Right now we are in this little pocket, kind of by ourselves, just making some laps. We'll see who we can pick off. Every race that I have raced so far, I've been able to pick up positions from attrition and I expect the same in this race that we will finish better than 10th because of people well frankly just like that in front of us getting into wrecks spun out and allowing us to make our way oh wow right in front of me well that happens in rookie class All right, let's get back in the rhythm now. Car seems to be okay, even though it took a massive hit. Again, this is in the rookie class. So 
so there's no caution. So there's just some different rules to get people acclimated to iRacing itself. Really liked how we were moving forward. We weren't too far off, I think, of ninth, making some gains, and then the guy's got to drive right in front of us. What a bonehead move. Never come back on a live track broadside, folks. All right, we're getting some pace. I feel like I'm getting in that rhythm. Wanted to get down just a little bit lower there. 30 to go, 10 laps in. I've really enjoyed racing here, and my experience so far with iRacing has been an enjoyable one. It, to me, it is better than Project Cars. It is better than Gran Turismo. And sure, you've got some knuckleheads, but every racing simulation game has those knuckleheads. People have got to learn, then some don't want to learn at, at all. I want to move up. I want to get into more challenging races. Again, this is like the fourth, fifth race that I've actually participated in. First one recording like this. I have won a race here at Lakeland. And I've participated in other races where I've finished fifth, third, and have had some good races with folks. Close races, side-by-side -side battles. So there are definitely people on our racing that are here to do just that, race. Starting to lose the guy ahead of me just a little bit. I've got to be careful about turn four. I am able to get the car to really rotate, and it over-rotates. And if I dip down and put the left side, the driver's side steering tire below the yellow line, it will hook the car, and I've lost control of it before in that manner. So I've got to be very careful. I wanted to turn. I wanted to get down to the yellow line, but, well... Turning too much can be a bad thing. So if you're seeing this and you're enjoying it, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Drop something in the comments below that you like this content, you'd like to see more. Ride along with me. It's my plan to do more of these and to eventually stream them live. And speaking of live, I do have a live drag racing talk show called Between the Slicks. We talk from personalities in drag racing, from crew members to drivers, from the no prep world to the world of NHRA drag racing. We talk about it Between the Slicks. That airs Thursday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So come check me out on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter, Monday Morning Racer for Between the Slicks. I'm not fast right now, just got a good pace, just trying to keep, keep a rhythm, keep the guy I've got behind me right there behind me. I like to be smooth. That's the goal that I have. I'm not one that really can drive well at this point and hustle the car. I have to get in a rhythm. I have to be smooth. I have to get out of the car what it's going to give me. And I do feel like I'm becoming a better driver at this track. Again, you know, fifth race in, sixth race in at this track the way it's working out on iRacing right now and really starting to learn where to put the gar, how to brake with it, when to get on the throttle, things of that nature. Course knowledge is so important 
even more so I think on road courses, knowing where everything is for your braking points and markers and hitting those marks. Right there, I did not hit a mark. A little bit too high into turn one. And I'm trying to get on the throttle very lightly. That's my goal. Very lightly get on the throttle. Have that egg underneath there. Don't take too much from the car. Take what it can give me. Ninth place right now. 17 laps to go. I feel like we are catching the guy ahead of us. Let's see if we can get him before the end of the race. Well, we had a whole lot of action there on lap one, not even completing a lap. On the front stretch, not so much action since then. That's not a bad thing. Settle in and race. Speaking of racing, uh, in the comments, let me know, what is your local short track? What is your local asphalt track? Let me ask it that way. Whenever I do a dirt race, we'll ask the question, what is your local dirt track? But tell me, what is your local asphalt short track? For me, uh, the home track would be Anderson Motor Speedway in Anderson, South Carolina. But right down the road from me where I'm at currently working at strutmasters.com in Roxboro, North Carolina is Orange County Speedway or just about 30 minutes, oh maybe 40 minutes rather west of Roxboro you also have Ace Speedway or infamous Ace Speedway with what they went through. I was able last year to be there for the season opener, actually film the race and that's something too, if you're coming to this channel and you're watching iRacing, I want you to know that this channel is more than gaming, it's more than iRacing. In fact, I film live racing, from drag races to tractor pulls to oval racing, dirt or even asphalt. Matter of fact, this weekend at Lafayette, North Carolina, the speedway there, I'm going to be filming some dirt track action. So. I'm catching the car that is ahead of me, but the car that is behind me is catching me. So everybody's catching everybody here. We've got, oh, well, we're coming to 10 to go, 10 to go. The challenge is going to be this. Get by the number 15. not let the number 11 buy me in this situation because the 15 is going to slow me up getting to him and trying to pass but I'd like another position oh that was a chaotic challenge chaotic turn oh the 11 got a good run on me Want to fight him on the outside. Which I have practice, and we're going to try to keep the 11 at bay. We do not. 
Let's see if the 11 can do any better and get by the 15. 15 is going to try to close the door. Oh, we got a good little scrap here. Got some excitement at the closing laps. All right, I'm going to roll, roll it, roll it, roll it. I'm underneath. Into the gas, into the gas. I'm going to roll it, slide up a little bit. Make sure he doesn't have any preferred line. Back to ninth. Let's see if we can run down the 11 with six laps to go. Oh, see... That's just terrible. Don't come back up into the racing lane if you've spun out. Get straight, come back, and merge right. Four to go, coming to three to go. Don't think I'm going to be able to get the 11. He's got to make a mistake. He's been running a good race. Really wish I had managed getting by the 15 better. Maybe I could still be in front of the 11. The 11 stuck his nose in though when I didn't really expect it. But hey, that's racing. White flag, last lap. Let's see if anything happens in front of us. Maybe we can pick up a few more spots. It happens. Good race, though. Hey, all of a sudden, jump to seventh. Don't know who disconnected, who got out of the room, but or who spun around, but we are in seventh. And there it is, folks. We finished seventh. Here at USA International Speedway, Lakeland, Florida. Again, in the Gearhead Coffee car, MMR10 for 10% off on Gearhead Coffee. Check that out. Hero Soap Company, Power Built Tools, Power Built Tools, MMR15, promo code 15% off. 15% off. Folks, thank you for riding along. Thoroughly enjoyed it. That was a lot of fun. All right, let's take a look at the start of the race, see what in the world happened. Oh, they, they tried to go three wide. Oh, my goodness. That is terrible, folks. That is terrible. He causes a wreck. I'm trying to stay out of it. He overcorrects. I get knocked into the wall. Really wonder what the race would have been like if that did not happen. So there is the beginning of the race. A victim. Truly a victim. Wow. Wow. Nonetheless, good race. I would show you the incidents, but I'm not sure how you do that yet. Maybe next time. Definitely, there was some good racing. Let me take it on through. Folks, right here on Monday Morning Racer, we're at lap 31. That's when the action got a bit intense. I'm trying to catch... The number 15 car, I'm doing that, but the 11 is catching me the whole time that's happening. So let's see what happens when I catch the 15, how the 11 gets by me, and then me getting by the 15 later on and trying to chase down the 11. Let's watch the action. I've got a run on the 15 going into turn 3, but the 11, he dove in, I saw it, and I gave him way too much room. I should have just got down to the bottom, drove my line, did my thing, but 
Hey, he got in my head. The 11 is underneath. I'm trying to fight. Keep gaining on the 15. Keep a position up top on the 11. Make sure the car behind him just doesn't dive in and take a position away from me. Gave a little bit too much there on the high side. Needed to be a little tighter on the 11. So the 11 dives in. 15 gives him the spot. I'm like, oh, here's my chance. Here's my chance. Let me get in here. Oh, no, the 15 shuts the door on me. I didn't want to press the issue. The number one is now right behind me. To the outside on the 15. Again, just a little bit too much there. On the high side, I should have been tighter. Could have done something. Now the 15. Go to the inside. He drifts up. I might have nudged him just a little bit there, but I'm underneath him. I've got to run. Going into three. Can make the pass now. And we're past the 15 now. Off to try to catch the 11. I don't, but we do finish in seventh place overall. That was pretty good there for a few moments. Some good racing in the Gearhead Coffee Power Built Tools, Strutmasters.com, Monday Morning Racer, Street Stock here at Lakeland, Florida, USA International Raceway. Guys, thank you again for watching. Hit that like button. Subscribe right here to Monday Morning Racer. Let me know what you thought about this presentation.